Hello, I'm Sophronia Scott, Director of the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing for the 21st Century, and welcome to Faculty Friday. This is your opportunity to learn more about the amazing faculty that we have on board for you at the Alma College MFA. And today I have with us the amazing Danielle Clayton. Danielle is a New York Times bestselling author of the Bell series. And by the way, I have to say those books have gorgeous covers. I love those books. Uh, she is the co-author of Tiny Pretty Things, the duology, which debuts as a Netflix original series very soon. Look for it. She is the author of the forthcoming MG middle grade fantasy series, The Marvelers. She hails from the Maryland suburbs of Washington, D.C., taught secondary school for several years, and is a former elementary and middle school librarian. She is COO of the nonprofit We Need Diverse Books and owner of Cake Literary, a creative kitchen whipping up decadent and decidedly diverse literary confections for middle grade, young adult, and women's fiction readers. An avid traveler, Danielle is always on the hunt for magic and mischief. Her website <laughs> is DanielleClayton.com. Thanks for being here. I'm so excited to be here and chat. So today we are talking about uh, working with students and working with your writing students. And I'm wondering, is there something as a teacher, you know, you've been teaching for a while now, is there something that you find that you're always telling your writing students? Absolutely. I think the biggest thing that my writing students hear from me is to be curious, to follow little things down rabbit holes, because you never know what you're going to find at the end of it. That means reading widely, reading things outside of the genre or the area that you write in. Also following those sort of little story seeds just to see where they end up. I think curiosity is the piece that has made me have a lot of stories. Um, and that curiosity makes you continually search for truth and also search for something that's exciting. Um, and I think that can show up in your writing when you can see that someone is very curious or excited about a topic um, that they wanna dive into. So I think that's something you'll hear from me as um, a writing instructor, be curious. How about you follow that path? See where it leads. There's something in this scene here. How about you look up this? Check this out as a mentor text. Did you know about this? I ask a lot of questions. Um, that uh, sort of style. Yeah, because I would think that that curiosity opens up so much opportunity that that it would help someone who might feel stuck. You know, or someone who's in writer's block. Right. Absolutely. I think that when you aren't curious is when you are in writer's block and you are sort of in a stalemate with yourself. And it's sort of, you have to sort of fill your well up with things that you enjoy. And I think, because I write about the things that I'm curious about, also the things that make me angry and the intersection of those two things lead to my stories. So I also always push writers to like dig deep, find the thing that you're curious or just frustrated with and investigate and go down that rabbit hole and see what's there, see what you can use. Yeah. see what you can mine and channel into your own work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find that um, it's being curious helps me to push the boundaries. And yet I have to remember to do that again and again. You know, I'm um, working on a new novel. I write historical fiction. And I, it occurred to me that maybe I'm thinking about sticking too close to, to history. Like I'm looking at things like Lovecraft and thinking, you know, history could be different. You know, I can really push a boundary here. And, and what if, you know, asking that question, what if, and, and seeing how far that can take That's me. a good question. Also, because I think we are programmed to walk the line and to walk a particular line that is safe. Yeah. And I ask questions to push you off the line and see, just to see what you find. You can go back to the line, but why not see what happens? See what you uncover by stopping and going into that wood just for a little bit, we'll come back to the road. But I, I never, it's never wasted time. I don't believe in wasted words. Mm -hmm. So remaining curious and seeing how unexpected you can, unexpected things can be found when you maintain that sort of curiosity. All right, curiosity. Thank you for that, Danielle. And thank you for being here. 
to the viewers, thank you for being with us. I'm Sophronia Scott, she's Danielle Clayton, and we are with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. You can learn more about the program at our website, alma.edu slash MFA, and we will be here again next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.